Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about simple linear regression, which is just a subset of regression, I'll explain, and that is under supervised learning. We're going to stick under supervised learning for a long time. So here it is. Basically, we saw before that I was plotting points like this, where I had maybe the age of a person, which I'll consider the x, and the height of a person, which I'll consider the y. It's what we're trying to predict. It's simple linear regression because I'm only using the age value to try and predict the height value. There's no reason that I couldn't have used, you know, their their gender or any other information that we have about the person to try and predict their height. But in simple linear regression, we're only using one. So I can plot it like this. Maybe here's our data. And our goal is to try and make this line that has, that goes through the data. Okay, let me just make that even clearer. Okay, straight line through the data. And so now what we can do is if we don't have the height of people, then we can use this line to predict, say, okay, if I have their age, then I can say, okay, I think that if your age is this, then your height should be this. Or if your age is this, height should be this. We saw this. Okay, so now let's diagnose exactly what's going on here. Basically, our goal is to make this line where we say y, because that's what we're trying to model is the output, except let me put a hat on it. Y hat. Because now we're saying, Basically, our guess, because our, our line right here, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm drawing here, it's a guess as to what the output is. So y hat is actually equal to beta naught plus beta 1x. And that is because beta naught is this value here, where if I was to extend this line over, then if you set x to 0, so if you set x this x to be 0, then you get this thing, okay, we, x is zero, you get that. That is what beta naught is. And so if, remember, you can, you can picture this basically getting crossed off because that's zero and you get beta naught. We also have beta one, which is the slope. Okay, the slope of the line. So that basically means if I was to change beta naught or if I was to change beta one, if I was to increase beta one, maybe it would be more like this. So the same beta naught holding that constant, but they would go up like that or maybe a different one up like let me use yellow maybe up like this okay so that is beta naught and beta one it's what makes up our line and we're multiplying it by x because we have basically a linear thing here as x increases then you know so is y according to whatever beta one is so that slope dictates the the relationship there all right, and there's no reason that it had to be positive here. It could have been, data points could have been like this, decreasing like that, and we could have drawn a line like that. That would mean that beta one is negative, as in as x increases, y is going to decrease. But right now we're assuming that the way that we drew it, we actually mean that beta one is positive. Okay, so beta one is positive, as x increases, beta one or y increases. Okay, so that is simple linear regression. Now, there's a lot of different things we can discuss about this, and we're going to talk about those in the next video. So I'll see you then.